Welcome back to the Ukulele Club channel. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher here. This tutorial is about avoiding a common mistake, or let's call it a poor choice, when you're notating melodies using ukulele tab, and especially C major or C diatonic or pentatonic melodies, where we have to notate a G. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to avoid that in a second. By the way, if you haven't watched the video that I made called How to Read and Write Tab Notation or Ukulele Tab Notation, you might wanna do that before you watch this, unless you're already familiar with how to read and write ukulele tab. If you are, let's continue. If you're not, you might wanna pause. You could probably get by without pausing, uh, but I would recommend that. So the common mistake or poor choice that I see people making is a fingering uh, choice about which note or which string and which finger you're gonna use to play the G. But let's start at the root of the scale and let's just review quickly how we're playing a C major scale. We're gonna start here on the C string, obviously, and play an open C. So in our tab notation, we're gonna write a zero or an O. And from there, we're gonna play the D here on the second fret. So we write a two, second fret. Then we're gonna go to the open E string, typically. So open E, so a zero on the E. There we go. And now we've got, we need an F, so let's go first fret, so number one. And now we need a G. So I would keep going up, play the G here on the third fret on the E string. Now, here's the issue. Uh, oh, and before we go on, uh, we would continue up to the A string, so a zero on the A or an O, and then we got our B on the second fret, so number two, and then the octave C, third fret, A string. So there's our scale. The issue that I see, and some people do this, I think because they're used to, to traditional notation, which notates the note to be produced, right? So if you want a G, you just say, I want a G. Uh, but the thing is with tab, you're actually notating the action of playing, and then the note comes out, whatever that note is. So you're really specific. Um, and what I see sometimes people doing is instead of writing the three here on the E, string, they will go for a zero or an O on the G string. Now, that would be like playing here, and watch what I have to do with my fingers. Of course, I'm not playing traditionally right now, but watch my movements. Sorry. So what did I have to do there? I had to skip down. I was here on the C string, but instead of going up to the E here, I, I'm sorry, to the G here, I jumped down and played that open G. Now, it's the same note. So you might think, well, what's the big deal? The issue is a matter of flow and momentum and, and just playing up and down the scale. When we think about playing up and down the scale, we sort of want to move up and down the scale, not jumping back and forth to the strings on the ukulele. So what I recommend is that you use the third fret E string to play that G note and not jump down to the open G, even though you can. And why? Besides I just said, the reasons I just said. Um, but here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to try playing a C scale both ways, or a melody that you have, try to play it both ways. You know, play it with the open G, play it with the third uh, fret E string way, and see which one works out better. I would bet you a nickel that the third fret E string is gonna be your first choice, all right? So just knowing that, that when you uh, notate in tab, and by the way, there's a PDF of this, if you wanna use this printout where you can have the uh, fret, here they are, the fret numbers and the tab notation down here for practicing and for learning. Uh, this is the same PDF I used in the original video. You can get a copy of this easily on my website, kalanimusic.com, free download. Um, but if you're going to uh, write a melody, just remember that that's a physical action when we're talking about tabs. So you want it to be as smooth as possible for you and your students 
Um, I hope this is helpful. If it is, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. And if you like, you can get a copy of the Ukulele Club Multimedia Resource over at TeachersPayTeachers.com. Uh, that's available now. Amazing resource for you, especially if you're a classroom teacher. All right, I'm Kalani. This is Ukulele Club. I hope this has been a helpful video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future lesson.